Lithium ion batteries are a major concern for the fire service right now. Uh, there's a lot of incidents going on from EVs to e-mobility uh, to consumer products, a lot of things catching on fire involving lithium ion batteries. I'm Captain Durham. I've been in the fire service since 2006, and I'm also an automotive engineer. Recently, I've been working on the battery box structure for electric vehicles. What makes up these types of devices? Well, it all starts with a cell. A cell is three to four volts. This one right here is cylindrical, but there's also pouch style cells as well as prismatic style cells. Uh, inside of these cells, you have rolled up material, very thin layers, almost like foil, uh, very fragile, but ultimately no lithium metal. These are lithium ion batteries. Uh, it's not lithium metal, it's a chemical formulation that's inside of here. Now, lithium ion is a generic term. There's multiple lithium ion battery chemistries out there and there's new ones being developed every day. That's where a lot of the development is being done on these batteries. They're trying to make safer technology. A lot of these batteries, you start looking at their failure temperatures. They're gonna to wanna to fail right around 300 degrees. Some of the newer technologies, the failure temperature has increased significant, a lot closer to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And a big part of these cells and why there's such an issue for the fire service is they don't require oxygen to burn. NASA's done a bunch of testing of lithium ion batteries failing in a vacuum chamber with zero oxygen in the atmosphere, and they still fail very energetically. Everything needed for this cell to burn is inside of it already, and they burn extremely hot. You're talking about 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Pressure is being released out of this single cell, 4,400 PSI. That's almost the same pressure as your SCBA bottle six liters of gas being released out of this. And when you start looking at larger devices, you know, your e-mobility scooters, your e-bikes, uh, electric wheelchairs, where you've got hundreds of these cells inside of them, that's why we're seeing such large fires uh, when these things burn. So generally lithium ion batteries are safe as long as they're well manufactured. But every now and then you'll get manufacturer defects. Uh, especially when you're buying cheap knockoff batteries that aren't UL tested or aren't properly certified. So that's one area you see these types of failures. Uh, another area is mechanical damage. You know, you have these batteries in a bike and they get thrown around or those scooters that you see all around these cities where people abuse them and use them. Um, that's one way these batteries can get damaged and eventually fail. Uh, think about your tool batteries, your battery operated drill. You know, dropping it off a roof, picking it up and using it again, and then throwing it in the back of your truck. That damage over time can cause those batteries to fail. Another area of these batteries fail is when you charge them improperly. A lot of people have aftermarket chargers they buy, or they mock up or rig up something to charge these batteries. It's not meant or not designed for the batteries in use. And what happens is these batteries like to operate at a nice, comfortable temperature. When you charge these batteries too quickly, which an off-brand or a replacement charger can do, you can cause these batteries to fail. Think about your SCBA bottle. You put your SCBA bottle in the cascade system, you crank that valve wide open and fill it as fast as you can. What's gonna happen? It's gonna heat up. Same thing happens with these battery cells. You charge these things too quickly, they heat up and eventually fail, sometimes catastrophically. So that, those are some of the things that you have to look for when you're looking at why these batteries fail. What questions do you have about lithium ion batteries, electric vehicles, e-mobility devices, whatever may be a concern to you? Comment below and it may be included in the next video.